Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited. We're reviewing our very first travel trailer and what better way of doing it than reviewing the world's smallest travel trailer. This is the 2020 Coachman Clipper Express model 9.0 TD. I'm going to show you the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm going to pop this thing up. And then I'm going to give you three things I love about this RV and three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And if you haven't heard the news, I'm super excited that Matt's RV Reviews has now expanded. I have a totally separate channel that's going to be Matt's RV, Review, Matt's RV Reviews towables. So at the end of this video, I will have a link to that channel. This will be the only uh, teardrop travel trailer review I'll do on this channel and then if you want to see my other towable reviews fifth wheels toy haulers travel trailers pop-ups everything you'll then have to subscribe to Matt's RV reviews towable edition but let's get started this is the 2020 coachman clipper express model 9.0 but the actual tip to tip length is 13 feet this is extremely lightweight the dry weight is 1153 pounds it measures at 6.7 feet wide and 5.9 feet tall. So this is a great little compact teardrop trailer pop-up. It's like a teardrop tra tra trailer pop-up that can actually fit in your garage. Also, the tongue weight is 122 pounds. Now, just so everybody knows, that's not considering the weight of the propane tanks or batteries. So that's something that you're going to want to take into consideration. Uh, there's not too much going on with this trailer um, so the reason why I picked this one is two reasons one it's indoor and it's raining and two Andrea is actually still sick so she's not able to record me in this video today but right here you do have a place for solar and then you actually have a little bit of passenger storage right here you do have some storage it's held up here with a clip and as you can see it does go straight all the way through and actually, for such a small travel trailer, that's a pretty good amount of storage. Single axle motorhome, you have a 13 inch tire. Right here is an antenna for a radio for on the inside. Uh, this motorhome has a lot of options. Uh, first, you can get an exterior grill. This one actually comes with the grill and you mount it right there. There's also a propane quick connect. Also, this is the 9.0 TD. You can get um, a version called the 9.0 TDV, which comes with a water heater, an interior sink, an exterior shower. Also, it has a kayak rack. And also, when this is popped up, there's an add a room tent that you can add on to it. Also, right here, you do have an 11K BTU air conditioning unit. Let's check out this unit when it's all the way popped up. This, I, I've checked out a few videos on YouTube. Nobody, people showed it with it already popped up. Nobody showed you how to pop it up. Howdy, Chuck. How's it going? Want to be in the video? Sure. Say hi to everybody. Hello, everybody. Oh, did you see that? That was cool. It did all the work for you. <laughs> I've actually never popped this up. Well, well, it, well, it just did it by itself. But, and then. You guys see right here, you have a rod. And then from the inside, you push this part all the way out. Then you take this, you get it aligned right. Just like that, and you got it all popped up. Great, so now that it's popped up, you wanna secure the side walls around it just like a pop-up motorhome. So what I mean there is there's Velcro all around. Then you take it and you Velcro sidewalls there. Then you take this. Oh yeah. 
Can you do the other side? Perfect. Then, you can see here that it's going to be all dark in there. So you can actually take this to let in some, some light. And then, then at night time, take this here. See how it doesn't open? This only when you zip it up like that from the inside. But you have to always unzip it to get that door open. Also, if you notice right here, this sidewall, it does have a screen as well, so that drops down as well. There you go. Oh, man, look at that. that. It's pretty dark in here. That actually adds a lot of light. Oh man, dropping both sides down, this makes it actually pretty spacious inside. Let me show you the rest of the exterior, then I'll show you the interior. Right here, you have a chain to, you can put your dogs there so they don't go running off. Over here, here's the other latch. When it does drop down, it is a 30 amp motorhome, so you actually have your 30 amp power cord right here. This is the exhaust for the little refrigerator on the inside. And then over here, this is the other side of that nice pass-through storage. Let's check out the inside. Oop, almost forgot. Right before you enter the inside, you got a beer can opener right there. Nothing like camping and beer. <laughs> okay, so inside the Clipper 9.0 TV, right here you do have a mini fridge right there. You have your furnace right here and your fuse box. In the 9.0 LTD or LTV, you do get a sink right here as well. Then on the other side, right here you have your air conditioning unit, 11K BTU. Right here's your radio and you saw the antenna on the outside. And then you get a little bit of storage right here. Finishing up the inside, there's not too much going on. Again, I picked this unit because I did not have Andre here to record me. And, you know, it's just a great small little unit that I can make a quick video on. This bed right here is a 54 by 74 inch bed. And back here, you do get windows. They both do slide open. And right there, you do have speakers. Now, there's also, right here you have a power plug. You know what I didn't notice? Okay, right here you have cell phone power and regular power. You know what I didn't see? I did not see a place to hook up a coax, which is pretty silly in my opinion. I guess I would have liked to see that, even if you had to put a TV right there. But, believe it or not, for this being just a small travel trailer, it is actually pretty spacious and I really do like this for, you know, this is, this is, in my opinion, this is for the person who's looking to buy a tent, who doesn't want to sleep on the ground, they want to have some AC, they want to have some heat in a fridge. Oh, snap, also, I forgot, the LTV also gives you a little porta potty right there. Uh, believe me, it is not a prime pooping position. It probably fails the toilet test, but... It's also better than taking a poop in the woods. <laughs> so, that's it. That's it, that's the review. Now before you leave, it's now time that I give you three things I love about this camper and three things I dislike about it. Uh, first thing, Andrea, what should I do first? <laughs> I miss Andrea. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna do my dislikes first. And hopefully I can find three. So my first dislike is that there is no place to hook up a television. Right? Uh, you don't need the telev television in this, but to have a coax would have been pretty nice. That's one. Two, 
I'm gonna say to have an exterior shower and make that an option for the LT for the 9.0 LDV. I don't like that. I understand making the sink an option on the interior, but every every single one of these should have an exterior shower in my opinion. And then three, I really, oh, I got a third. I know a third. Um, having to unzip, unzip this to open and close the door, I'm not a fan of. I wish, we were just able to open and close the door, even with not having to unzip this part. But that's it, that's just me. Great, so now the three things I love about this motorhome. One, I actually love the size of it. I can't believe how spacious it is, uh, especially for being like a little teardrop in a little pop-up. When this thing is popped up, it makes it huge and spacious. Two, the second thing I loved about this was that it has these pistons here, so, I didn't have to pop it up and raise up bars and screw stuff in. It it was down and when it comes up, you know, after you do that initial lift, it lifted itself all the way up and then all you had to do was Velcro around it. And the third thing I absolutely love about it is the weight. 1,150 something pounds. That's absolutely incredible and so light. And if your vehicle has a hitch, then there's a good chance you can tow this which means there's more campers on the road, which I'm a huge fan of. Great, so that's it, that's the review. Oh snap, totally forgot. I totally forgot to mention the price of this uh, travel trailer here. MSRP on this travel trailer is a whopping $8,539 MSRP. Sale price doesn't say it on our website for some reason, I don't know, but I just saw a list, and we're going to be selling this at the Ocala show this weekend for $5,999, which is an incredible value. Listen, folks, if you have a motorhome and you have kids or grandkids that want to come with you, but you don't want them sleeping in your motorhome, this is a great alternative, and it's so light, you won't even know it's behind your motorhome. But that's it. That's the review. If you could, do me a huge favor. Leave down in the comments below. Let me know three things you like about this little Coachman Clipper and three things you don't like about it. If you haven't already, again, if you want to see Travel Trailer Fifth Wheel and Toy Haul reviews, make sure you go to my new YouTube channel, Matt's RV Reviews Towables, link down in the description below, and sign up for, subscribe to my new channel. Also, I'll put a button right there. If you have any questions about this RV, call me, text me, send me an email. It's 301906. 0962 or maxrvreviews at gmail.com and I really hope Andrea gets better uh, because I don't like making a video with a tripod anymore so let's um let's hope she gets better and let's hope she's recording me on the next video thanks so much everyone I'll see you next time